Excuse me. Sorry, I was miles away. You haven't seen anyone go past in the last few minutes, have you? A guy about my age on a red mountain bike with a cowie on the front? I saw a small lady with a big dog, Alsatian, I think it was, but no one on a bike, no. Hey, thanks, anyway. Is he good looking? Yeah. Well, if I see him, I'll tell him you're searching. Thanks. See ya. Han? Han, it's Chloe. Han, are you in there? Hi, are you okay? Oh, hi. Uh, are you Han's roommate? Uh, no, 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 I'm next door. Uh, I'm Steve, by the way. Chloe, have you seen him this morning? Uh, well, I didn't hear him go out. He's normally like clockwork. So, are you on the same course? Mm, yeah, we met at Freshers. And what about you two? I'm interested. Mm, cycling in the park. Mm -hmm. Kind of get bumping into each other on the way in every morning. Oh, you're a student here? Yeah, if I not. Ah, uh, I thought you looked a bit... Uh, uh, creative. Han usually texts me if he's not going in. Oh, well, maybe he went in early. Maybe. Have you tried ringing him? No answer. Well, he does have a big exam later. Really? He never said anything. <laughs> you know what he's like? He's like super driven. He studies all hours. Yeah, he's probably in the library hard at it. Yeah, I'll try there then. Hey, if I see him first, I'll let him know you're jarred off for being stood up. Thanks. Morning. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. All raring to go? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm glad I caught you, actually, because there's something I want to ask you. Uh, yeah, sure. You know that Anthony has asked that we all have performance appraisals. Um, yeah, I had heard. Sounds like a good idea. Well, he's asked for me to be the appraiser. And I wondered how you would feel about my trying one out on you. Well, being your guinea pig. <laughs> Look, it's absolutely fine if you don't think that's appropriate. I'm joking. No, no, it's fine. Oh, good. Uh, it'll just be general stuff about what you feel about the practice or if you have any ideas and suggestions about the future of the practice. Yeah. Great. Sounds good. And maybe some more personal stuff, or, or really anything you like. Yeah, great. Um, I should have a cup later, actually. Are you absolutely sure that you don't mind it being me? Nope. I'll give you a call later when I'm free. Fine. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's just I've been trying to call. Look, come this way, because I am at work. Yeah, well, so am I, but if you won't answer your phone... Well, maybe there's a reason for that. Oh, come on, don't be like that. So you've had a bit of a lover's tiff, big deal. It's not the end of the world. You lied to me. No. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You assumed... No, you led me to believe. No, you wanted to believe. Look, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. Not here, not now. Lunch, then. Well, like I said, I am very busy. Valerie! Look, I've got work to do, and so have you. Oh, hello. Did you find your boyfriend? I was in the park this morning, on the bench. Oh, yes, uh, sorry. No, I didn't. That's why I'm here, actually. He had an appointment this morning with Dr Carter. Oh, I see. 
Um, he's been having trouble sleeping. I persuaded him to register. His name is Han Shen. Yeah, no, you see, the thing is... Chloe, I'm really not allowed to give out any information about other patients. Yeah, I understand that. I just need to know if he came in. I'm sorry. He hasn't turned up at uni. It's really not like him to disappear off somewhere. Excuse me, I'm Dr Carter. Can I help? I'm just trying to find out if my boyfriend made his appointment. He's gone missing. Is he a student? Yes, English literature final year. Well, in my experience, students get up to all sorts of things, especially if there's alcohol involved. Yeah, but that's not like him. He doesn't even drink. Well, all the more reason if he has. I've tried his mobile over and over. Please. Can you not even tell me if he made his appointment? Valerie, my last patient hasn't turned up. So would you like to come through, please? If he turns up, we can certainly get him to give you a call. Something must have happened. Maybe I should call the police. No, I think that's a bit premature. Oh, sorry. I know I'm being stupid, but... Oh, no, no. Come on, he'll be all right. Would you like to come through and have a sit down? We can have a cup of tea and a think. There must be some way to find him. Hi, Ben. <clears throat> Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, patients can wait. That's what waiting rooms are for. <laughs> oh, right, OK. N it's fine. I'm quite busy myself tonight, so... Tomorrow? Um, just let me check. Yeah, no, I can do that. Yeah, it'd be lovely. <laughs> I'm actually really glad you called. OK. I'll see you soon. Bye. Morning. Morning. Copy my message, then. Yeah. I uh, noticed the key's still inside. Well done. Eagle eyes. So it's uh, been reported, Stalin, then? Yeah, the owners have been notified. They'll be in touch. I hear that congratulations are in order. Oh, thanks. But I'm not too sure if anything's in order at the moment. Oh, dear. Pre-wedding wobbles? Mm. She reckons I misled her, budget-wise. I mean, I am not some cheapskate. Well, you don't want to be burning money. Exactly. Actually, uh, while we're on the subject, um, if, uh, when it happens, um, I was wondering if you'd consider being my best man. Oh. Uh, no, no pressure, but... I'd really appreciate you riding shotgun, covering me back. Right. Uh, that would be an honour, Barry. I would be happy to. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Hi, Valerie. Hi, Barry. Yes, I need your help. I've got a student patient here whose boyfriend's gone missing. Right. Uh, when you say missing... Well, he's not where he should be. Which is with his girlfriend. Exactly. It's very out of character, apparently. Uh, well, I'm not really sure how I can help. I mean, maybe he's just gone for a long walk. Look, I'm just asking you to look around campus and halls for him. But if that's too much trouble, then... No, no, no. I'll... Uh, I'll... No problem. I'll get onto it right away. His name's Han Shen. S H E N. She's sending you a photo from her phone and details. Right. Oh, I'll uh, I'll call you back ASAP. Great. Bye. Sorted. Barry'll find him. He's like a bloodhound. Ah, oh, thanks. You've been so helpful. She's looking for some student who's ducking his girlfriend. Not exactly my job description. But... If it gets you out of the doghouse. You read my mind. Not difficult. Right, so I shall catch you later. <laughs> Chloe! You found him yet? No. I looked everywhere. He didn't turn up for his doctor's appointment this morning either. Yeah, I made my lecture saw him last night in the union getting really hammered. Han? I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh, he never drinks. Why would he suddenly. I don't know. Uh, exam stress? Uh, odds are he's just totally crashed out in his room, massively hungover. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try again. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Valerie? Barry, progress update. 
I'm at the student union. The uh, bar manager escorted Hannah out late last night, very worse for wear. Yes, uh, I'm on my way there now. Will do. Bye. I can easily make this later if it suits you better. I know how busy you've been. Oh, no. That's no, good. Anyway, you're the one who's busy, juggling all this in the family. <laughs> you know me, I'm a sucker for a challenge. <laughs> and actually, we've just put in an offer on a house. Um, just to add to the pressure. Oh, didn't even know you were looking. Oh, well, you're the first person I've told. Oh. It's a bit spare at the moment, actually. I was just browsing. No, but then, it is the ideal house. It really would be the dream home. Fingers crossed you get it. <laughs> Thank you. With Joe and everything, we really are starting to outgrow our current place. Um, how is Joe doing? Really well. Thank you for asking. All the work on his speech and fine motor skills is really starting to pay off. It must be such a relief to see some improvement. I can't tell you. One worries so much, but it has been worth it. It's really good that you intervened at the right age, you know. And in the right way. You know, I was just reading yet another report on child speech development only the other day, and it's so obvious that the absolute key is that the child gets the right level of support at the appropriate age. Well, I guess a lot of the problems start with getting the original diagnosis right. Well, exactly. There's such a minefield of misinformation out there. Hi, I'm Chloe. Are you... Uh... Barry. Looks like our hunt's almost over. Yeah, I hope so. Do you have the key? It's on its way. The uh, cleaner has a master. Ah, thank you very much, Mrs. Stebbins. I'll drop you back when I'm done. OK. Right. Odds on, your young man is out sparker, sleeping it off. This must be the wrong room. Oh, oh definitely 62. This is an exam timetable for the engineering course. Plan is studying English literature. And these are all engineering textbooks. But these aren't, are they? His hands. They gave it to him. OK. I don't get it. These aren't shared rooms. Could he be um, combined honours if he's a bright kid? Um, was he not here? You know you said you were on the same course. Yeah, well, um, Hans more electrical engineering, but... No, oh, he's studying English Lit. No, he's definitely doing engineering. No, he can't be. Well, he's been to every lecture and seminar for the last two years, so... Was he uh, doing all right on the course? Well, he struggled a bit with some of the work, but he was always studying to make it up. Uh, his mum and dad were pretty desperate for him to do well. They got his fees sponsored by some engineering firm. This is crazy! Han was always reading novels and poetry and writing all the time. I think we just need to find him. Make sure he's OK, yeah? Look, last time I saw him was yesterday afternoon. He seemed OK? Yeah. I mean, he was a bit stressed about the exam. He was knackered, but there was nothing unusual. Yeah. Well, what about other friends? Uh, somewhere they might have crashed at. Uh, Han didn't really socialise much. Sorry. Yeah. Let me say. Hi. Just boiled. Hi, yeah, it's me. Just calling to see if you found him yet. What? Why would he lie about that? I'll call you back. Is this about your missing student? All right. All right. Where is she rushing off to? I have no idea. Are you uh, thinking of starting a bonfire? Oh, very tempting. No, I'm going through some patient lists to work out some statistics. Because? Because it'll help me prove how effective I am. Huh? Performance appraisal. Preparation is everything. Oh. And attack is the best form of defence. Yeah. Well, who else is going to fly the flag for me? There's no doubting that Joe has really benefited. But it's been a tough journey. It must have been a tough transition to him, coming back to work. How are you finding it? Honestly, I miss him, but it's good. I'm really enjoying it. Great. 
It's really good to be seeing with fresh eyes all the things that I love about the job. <laughs> I've even missed some of the patients. Well, a few of them. <laughs> Seems like you've had a valuable break then. I have. And now I really appreciate being at home even more, so... Wait a minute. Uh, here I am rabbiting on about myself and this is supposed to be your appraisal. Well, that's fine. I mean, it's good to share. You sly dog. Well, there's no fault in your people's skills. Thank you. Now, stop distracting me, Dr. Veer. It is time to talk about you. Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, how did you...? I just spoke to Barry. I thought I'd just drop by. Thanks. They're checking the park. He said you were still a bit worried. I can't understand it. I thought Hannah and I were close. Why would he lie like that? He must have had his reasons. But what? Well, perhaps he thought doing something more arty would make you like him more. Engineering's not very romantic, is it? I thought I should give you this. Ah, I found it near the park bench this morning. And I've been so busy at work, I just forgot I had it. But then Barry mentioned that Han had poetry books and it all just clicked. This is Han's. He took this everywhere. I'm so sorry, I should have realised. That bench. It was where we first met. Thing is, Chloe, there's an envelope inside. Hey, over here! It's Hans bike. Are you sure? Yeah, hundred percent. Rob, it's Barry. Look, uh, that missing student. It might be nothing, but I'm a bit concerned. I can't. Shall I? I think it's a poem. To Chloe. I have gone to find what I have missed. To dream of new words to write. My heart's truth. And never wake again to live those lies. You were the first and last I kissed. And though your day is now my night, I'm with you still, sharing the world through your eyes. How are you doing, mate? Come on. Okay. Get one of the paramedics to take a look at you. That's what we need. Yeah. You okay, Barry? Uh, just thought we'd find him, you know. Crashed out or something, maybe, yeah. Mm. Discovering a body is always a shock. Just wasn't expecting, uh, you know. I know. We're just waiting for Dr. Carter now, but I need you to hang around so I can take a statement. So, definitely him then. Looks like it, but we haven't done a formal ID, so it's not been confirmed. So when do you think he... Um, I don't know, but I'm going to guess he's been in the water all night. Look, there's nothing you could have done differently, if that's what you're thinking, Barry. Uh, Valerie's waiting with his girlfriend back in his room. Shall I call her? I mean, is that all right? What's the procedure? If that's what you want, but no details. We need to contact his parents first, obviously. Just say that our body's been found. Yeah. Understood. Sarge? Back in a bit. I've never thought of it as just a job. I want to make it my life. And if you really care, well then, it is a vocation, isn't it? I mean, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for my family's GP. What happened? Um, meningitis, when I was a kid. And the locum <laughs> totally missed it. Yeah. 
But our doctor took the trouble to check on me and then got me to the hospital just in time to save me. Lucky. Oh, no. It wasn't luck. She cared. And she was committed. Must have been terrifying for your family. Well, that kind of near miss scars everyone, don't they? And then I had a long and slow recovery. But that gave me plenty of time to think, and that's when I decided what I wanted to do. Become a doctor? Mm -hmm. Save lives? As many as I could. <laughs> Sounds so corny, doesn't it? Yes. But I'm convinced. That doctor seemed like a god to me at the time. I mean, her knowledge was so powerful. She actually helped me cheat death. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> OK. Thanks, Barry. Yeah, bye. The police have found a body, but it hasn't been formally identified yet. No. Oh, I'm afraid we're just going to have to wait. Rob, Barry. Thanks for getting here so quickly, Heston. Well, very sad business. Ready? Remember, we don't know that it's him yet. He wanted to write. He was so passionate about it. Do you think he was under pressure to put engineering first? I don't know. Why didn't he talk to me? Well, sometimes when you're depressed, you shut everyone else out, try and cope on your own. Oh, I would have helped him. I bet you have without even realising. There's something written on the back. Chloe, thank you for climbing with me, Han. <laughs> OK, thanks for letting me know. Well, they've managed to contact Han's parents in China. Right, uh, I spoke to the admin office, the girlfriend's parents are on the way here. Worst part of the job, this. Telling people the one thing they never want to hear. I can talk to her if you like. Is um, you found him? You've got more than enough to get on with, haven't you? And uh, Valerie will be in there with me too. Okay. If you're sure, it's a big responsibility, though. You need to be professional. Don't go into too much detail. It's always best to give it straight, so it's not confusing. You can always give me a call if you need to. Oh, yes, I need the notebook and the letter, the evidence. Oh. I'll sort it. Good luck. Sorry for keeping you hanging on. Oh, please just tell me. OK, uh, this is not the easiest thing to say, but... I'm so sorry. Um, the uh, police are still awaiting final confirmation, but it seems likely that the body found earlier is Han. I knew. I just knew it. I'm so sorry. How, how did he...? <sighs> Looks like he drowned. <laughs> Can't really say any more. The uh, police will be in contact to take a statement from you, but only when you're ready. I really am so sorry. I can't believe this is happening. I got in touch with your parents. They'll be uh, here shortly. They uh, wanted to be with you. I hope that's okay. Thanks. And if there's uh, anything else at all that I can do to help, then just let me know. Well, um, in terms of the future of the practice, I genuinely think that Anthony has the vision to achieve so much here. I mean, he really gets that we don't have to lose the best of the old NHS ethos to truly embrace all the new changes. It's an almost impossible balance. Yeah, but, well, 
example of a challenge. <laughs> and who doesn't? And I know it sounds cliche, but I'm really excited to be a part of this team. Good. Well, we're lucky to have you. Really? Because, well, my only reservation is whether I'm up to it, whether I'm a good enough doctor. Well, absolutely you are. I mean, you still have a lot to learn, but that's true for all of us. It never stops. And um, the partners are happy with me? Definitely. We all think very highly of you. It turns out that you are a very valuable asset to the practice after all. Right, well, that was great. Thanks. Uh, Big confidence booster. Good. Sorry, I really have got to get back to the coalface. Big patient this today, but thank you. I really do appreciate your support. <laughs> it's fine. Thank you for giving up your time. <laughs> She's uh, on her way down. Oh, like I said, if there's uh, anything I can do, just give me a call. That goes for me to drop into the surgery any time. Thanks. Poor girl. So young. It's no age to lose someone. At least she's got a family. Oi! Can not put the secret ingredient in yet? I thought you were the secret ingredient. Ah, you are so smooth. How's my dad? Yeah, he's doing really well. So I just order a pitcher of Pinot and a couple of straws? Yeah, that sounds perfect. I got a guinea pig. A guinea pig? Please don't tell Dad, though. The dress is the one thing that's not going to be budgetised. Do you understand? 